So there is uh, something interesting going on in Washington that I wanted to talk about today and hopefully bring up a discussion about. Uh, and um, this is probably going to be another um, unpopular opinion coming from me. Uh, but allow me to explain. Just stick with me because uh, by the end of it, maybe you'll understand why I feel the way I do about this. But anyway, this is from The Hill. Trump administration seek, asked Supreme Court to temporary al al temporarily allow transgender military ban. Uh, sorry about that. It's temp 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 the Trump administration is asking the Supreme Court to allow enforcement of a ban on transgender people serving in the military while it fights legal challenges to the new policy. Solicitor General Noel Francisco filed two requests to Justice uh, Elena K Kagan and one request to Chief Justice John Roberts on Thursday, asking the courts to stay injunctions that three lower courts put in place. This moves by those courts, the moves by those courts are preventing the administration from enforcing its transgender ban. Um, the requests come a couple of weeks after Francisco asked the Supreme Court to bypass an appeals court ruling uh, or sub, uh, appeals court uh, and review the rulings. He is now asking the court to put on hold rulings from courts in the Central District of California, Western District of Washington, and District of Columbia. It is with great reluctance that we seek such an emergency relief in this court, he wrote Thursday, in the almost identical filings. Unfortunate, unfortunately, I can't read today. I just, I can't read today for some reason. Unfortunately, this case is part of a growing trend in which federal district courts, uh, at the behest of particular plaintiffs, have issued nationwide injunctions, typically on a pre preliminary basis, against major policy initiatives. Now, that, there's a lot of, there's a lot of mumbo jumbo in there. So basically, I'm going to explain it to you. What, what's happening is that the Trump administration wants to ban uh, transgendered people from being in the military. And um, what it's come down to is that they're challenging it. There are people that are challenging this in courts. And uh, those challenges aren't going to be uh, done until later. They've, they've moved. The, they're like off, you know, I don't know how many years. So in response, some lower courts have said, OK, well, until that challenge goes through the courts and decides whether it's legal or not to do that, uh, we're going to say that um, we're going to put the whole thing on hold so we can say they can go ahead and, and be in the military while this is processing, while, while it's going on. Well, now the Trump administration is asking the Supreme Court to say, no, um, you, ha you, have to in you have to do it now until it's, you know, until it's actually the challenge is actually done in court. It has to be from now until then. You have to, you have to start uh, enforcing this ban now. Now, um, let me explain to you why I agree with this ban. Uh, yeah, you heard me right. I agree with the transgender ban. And um, I'm going to tell you why. Because there's a lot of people that don't understand what, what this even is about. A lot of people just think that, you know, Trump hates transgenders and doesn't want them in the, in the military. And I don't know. You know, maybe that's true. But that's not what, um, what this ban is about. Uh, it's about uh, insurance claims on transgender surgery. Because currently, uh, the way it works is that if you go in the military, you get military insurance, and if you're transgender, that covers your, your transgender surgery. And uh, the Trump administration earlier this year actually went in to, uh, to the other side and said, hey, can we remove transgender surgery from coverage from, you know, military um, medical coverage? And uh, the Democrats just said, nope, and, boom, and put a wall right in front of that. So uh, the Trump administration, uh, I guess, came back and said, OK, well, if um, if we can't have that, then just no transgenders in the military, period. And um, I'll tell you why why this is important. It, at least it's important to me. And I don't know, maybe it's important to you. I don't have a problem with transgenders at all. I don't have a problem with transgender people. I'm very liberal when it comes to. Uh, people doing what they want to with their own body. I don't think that that should be legislated by the government or by other people, or I, I think that a person should be able to do whatever they want to 
with their own body. And it doesn't matter if I like it or not. It doesn't matter if I agree with it or not. Um, because the second we start telling people that they can't have transgender surgeries when they want one, then what are we, you know, what are we going to do now? We're going to tell them they can't have tattoos because there are a lot of people out there that think that's wrong uh, or you can't pierce your ears or, or get like body modifications done. You know, it's, it's, it's just, I think people should be able to do what they want to with their own body, whether or not anybody else agrees with it. It's their body. They own it. They're the only person that owns it and they should be able to do what they want to with it. Um, so uh, now that I've laid that out, I think that transgender surgery should be available. It should be available and legal for transgenders to go and see a surgeon and have themselves, you know, worked on to make themselves look like whatever they want to look like. However, I don't believe that I should be paying for that. And I don't believe that you should be paying for that. Um, there, I've had arguments with people over this before. Um, transgender surgery is cosmetic surgery. It is not medically necessary. Some people have come to say, well, it's a medically necessary surgery. No, it's not. It's not medically necessary. A transgender person can live from birth until an old age and death without having the surgery and, and get along just fine. A medically necessary surgery is something that a person will die or be disabled if they don't get. And that's neither, that's neither of them. So... The only other place that you can get free transgender surgery in this country, believe it or not, is if you go to prison. And um, there's not a lot of transgenders that are signing up to go to prison just so they can get their surgery. However, there are um, a lot of them that are signing up for the military. I knew about this one uh, person. They signed up for the army, got in. It took them three weeks before they declared transgenderism. And um, as soon as they got their surgery, they left. They just said, Fuck it, bye, I'm out. Now, I, I don't think, like I said before, I think this surgery should be available. And I think it should be legal. And I think that if a transgender wants to have the surgery, go ahead. I don't care. I, it, it doesn't bother me. You know, it, it doesn't, if you want to have, you know, your penis cut off because you don't want it, that's, that is, your, that's your shit. And you should be able to do whatever the hell you want to. But I don't think the public should be paying for that. I shouldn't be paying for it. You shouldn't be paying for it. Nobody should be paying for it except the person who wants the job done. Um, now, people may, people may think that that means that I'm transphobic. Um, and I don't even know what, what it means anymore when people say phobic this or phobic that or racism because they seem to think it means a certain collection of words instead of how you feel. But how I feel inside is, you know, that this is the whole gender spectrum thing. Okay, let, that's new. That's a lot of people think that it's like, well, it's science. No, it's not. It never was science. It's not based in science at all. This is a, it's a religion. It's a, it's a, it's a belief system that was born out of the 70s from liberal college gender studies professors who um, just, they just came up with this stuff. So. The thing that I think is, is just inherently wrong about this whole thing is that a surgery, which is kind of based around a religion, is being, is being forced to be paid for on the American public, who the majority of which don't even believe in that religion. You know, I, I mean, that's a little bit fucked up, if, if you ask me. So I don't think that in the end, I, I don't want to see transgender people not serving in the military. I believe they should if they want to. Uh, but I don't think that they should go in just to get a free surgery and then jump back out, uh, especially if, if I or you have to pay for that surgery. So um, outside of that, if, um, if we can't you know, get that removed from the coverage of medical insurance in, in the military, the next thing you can do is just say, okay, no trans people in the military. That's all you can really do at that point. Even though uh, I, I really wish that wasn't the case because I know there, there are a lot of legit transgender folks who want to go in the military and they want to serve the country and they don't, they don't want to go in just to get a surgery, but there are some that do. And 
that is uh that has become a problem. So I don't know about you guys. We can discuss this further in the comments below. I know it's probably going to be a a hot button issue for some people, and it's probably going to cause some some discussion. But hey, let's learn from each other. Um, I hope that this gets fixed to the point where it everybody is satisfied, or at least the majority of people are satisfied, and uh, so we can move on to things that don't involve just being douchebags to people. 